Hi, Rolf Snowbick here. Thanks for joining me again this week. We're on the Tecta Warehouse in the Chicago area. This building was built 26 years ago, purpose built as a roofing warehouse. And uh, at the time, we put a variety of roofs up here to make it a showroom for building owners so they could see what was out there. And we put a variety of roofs up here uh, of same uh, generic type so people could see how they work in a good, better, best format. The first area here is a ballasted EPDM roof. It appears to be behaving pretty well. This would have been an entry level roof, uh, probably the cheapest thing available at the time, but it's it's still working very well. Uh, the next area here is adhered EPDM, also behaving very well. When we move on a little bit, it's the same adhered roof, but this has been coated with silicone coating. So it goes to show you that it is possible to turn that black roof into a white roof, extend the life, and uh, if you're in an urban area and you're concerned about the urban heat island effect, one way to turn a black roof into a white roof. And then we move on here and we've got a mechanically attached EPDM roof. Also looks very good. We've got a variety of green roofs here. This first one we're coming up onto here on the left, this was uh, a green roof with trays, so it was fully green the day it was put in. And then the larger area here, this was with growing medium applied over a drainage fabric, over a fiber tight PVC. So this took time to grow in, but it's pretty full now and uh, looks really good. As we move on, this is a PVC mechanically attached roof, uh, and it is a PVC alveoli, 26 years old, looks great. Crossing the next joint, this area here, coming across to the high point, this is a smooth, built up roof with a silicone coating. Uh, you get the redundancy of a built up roof, uh, and the ability to coat it periodically, keep it looking good, and extend the life. Because it's been coated a couple of times, the flashings and everything look really, really good. We're going to walk over here. Here's another built-up roof with gravel. This would have been considered a premium built-up roof uh, with the gravel on it. It still looks really good, but with a couple of exceptions, the uh, flashings that face west the granules are starting to come off. So those coatings, those flashings will need to be recoded at the time uh, to extend the life of the roof. Out here in the front, we've got a architectural standing seam metal roof, and then a APP torch grade modified, which with time now is starting to exhibit granule loss, some ridging along the side laps, and you can see that there's a, a patch here in the low spot where it has needed to be repaired. Uh, it is showing age, but once again, it can be repaired. And this would also be a great coating candidate in the future to extend the life and make it a more sustainable option. As we come over here, this is a unique roof. This white roof is also PVC alveoli, but this is a, um, it's not mechanically attached or ballasted or adhered. This uses one-way vents to draw the air out of the roof. The theory is with these vents, the harder the wind blows over the side of the building, the harder the membrane sucks down to the deck. Unique approach, it works well. And once again, this, this roof is in very good condition. As we walk across this expansion joint here, we find an area that had been a smooth built up roof without, without coating. And this was covered again here about two years ago with a torch grade SBS because the, uh, uh, the built up membrane without any surfacing on it uh, was oxidizing and needed to be repaired. So that's what we're looking at here. Uh, going back over to the smooth built up with the coating, you can see here an area where we would have 
where you'd mark out on a roof where to put a walkway with granules in it so that it has traction. And then we'll, we'll come over here to the side. And the last area we'll look at is a PVC roof with PVC ribs that were put on. And the, the thinking here is, is it makes it look like a metal roof, but unlike a metal roof, it is 100% waterproof. So that in a nutshell is a 26 year old showroom in the Chicago area. It shows you how different roofs perform with time. If you'd like a tour, let me know. We can arrange that. Make it a great day. Thank you.